garden friends, Cindy here. Carlos here, welcome back to CNC Garden Country. Today we're gonna to give you a tour of the bird garden back here and also the flower and vegetable garden. All right, let's get to it. All right, garden friends, here's the uh, bird garden right here. We do have a chachalaca up here. It's kind of like a giant chicken. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and tour the garden. Butterflies. All right, so let's start in this quadrant right here. We have a bunch of uh, different uh, wildflowers uh, that uh, I planted some years ago. These right here, if I'm not mistaken, are uh, pinwheels. And these purple ones, I forgot. <laughs> so we have all these in here. The ones over here with the white flowers, those are the low croton. Let's move on to this side over here. We have some more of those wildflowers in here. I do have some uh, snapdragons right here. Those uh, were doing better when I had them covered. It looks like the rabbits are eating them. Also have this uh, grass right here. We have some of this, uh, what is it, variegated grass and also the mondo grass in here. Those seem to be doing well. There's some on that side also, but as you could tell, the flowers are taking over. Let's keep going this way. We have a Paradise of Barbados right here. We have a rose right here. It's not in bloom right now, but it has been blooming. There's like a bud right there. We have another rose right over here this one my mom gave us got a rosemary bush right here as you can tell it's kind of lying down it's been here at least uh, what about 10 years or so mm -hmm. yeah before i i uh separated the garden right over here we have some coriander or cilantro seeds right in here as you could tell let me grab these right here Right here, you could see the coriander seeds. Have a jasmine plant right in here. More coriander. Two shrimp plants. Those seem to be doing really well in here. Have the kangaroo paw over here that I got. I don't remember, maybe Walmart. It's doing okay, but the flowers are dying back. I guess I gotta trim it. We have the Mexican petunia here. That one is uh, in purple, a purple color. I also have a little bitty one over here that is in white. It's difficult to see from here. Got a king tut uh, grass right here. Also, this is a butterfly bush, port porter weed. We have a golden showers right here. Let me go ahead and turn around. We have some Duranta bushes back here. We have this one, that one, this small one right here, and these two over here. They died back during the cold snap we had for those two days, and but they came back. Over here, we have another King Tut along with some grass. These look like little bunny tails right here. We have a Russian sage. We have a lot more sage over here, some purple sage. The seeds are already coming out over here. Got this uh, plant over here, it looks like a skeleton bush. In the middle over here, we have the Greg's mist flower and these uh, uh, magenta, pink uh, flowers. We do have butterflies here all the time. They're called the queen butterflies. Kind of look a little bit like monarchs, but they are not. Coming around this way, we have this plant right here is plumbago. Has these purple flowers right in here. Very pretty. We have another golden shower right here. And some more uh, purple sage. 
I think there's an area over here that uh, I did not show you. This right here is stock. I uh, got some, we got some plants from Lowe's. Uh, they were already in the clearance section and I bought a whole bunch of them, but these three are the ones that did the best. This right here is the white Mexican petunia. Over here towards the greenhouse, got some more snapdragons right in here. I think the rabbits are getting to that also. Over here in this area, you see a lot of seeds. This is what's left over of the blue bonnets. Got these two plants with the uh, orange flowers. There are some snapdragons in here in some of the areas. My chickens got out and they dug around. Plus, I think we have some javelinas because they really dug around out here in this area. Let's back up. You can see the greenhouse. We have over here, we have the hen house. We do have some different grasses in here. Contrast of the red and green along with the Texas sage. Let's back up over here. Show you what it looks like. I want the Texas sage to grow tall and of course grow together to kind of have like a bit of shade from the morning sun. Now let's go ahead and head over to the flower and vegetable garden. Okay, here we have the snapdragons. Still not showing very good progress, but they're still hanging in there. These are the Dollar Tree ranunculus right here. That one had a little flower. The others are a weed. Over here we have the gladiolus. As you can see, they're coming around. In this area, ooh, look, we got a yellow one right there. Over here, we have the tomato and the onions. Onions here, they're not ready. Tomatoes. Look at the tomatoes. That one's nice. Mm -hmm. Got a few here in this area. You can see the plant is just taking over. We have our potatoes over here. They're not flowering anymore, but I think something is eating the flowers. So probably gonna have to spray some BT or some other organic uh, chemical here. On this area, we have the zinnias. Look at how beautiful those are. And pretty much in time for Mother's Day, I'm gonna be making some bouquets for the mothers of our family. Let's move this way. This right here is the blue bonnet plant that grew here. That's one seed right there. Really pretty. Here we have the sunflowers. As you see, it's got multi flowers coming out. This one right here, you could see right in here the petals that are going to be coming out. pretty that is. We've got a lot of those coming out. Let's come this way. These are different sunflowers. These only have one primary flower right here. So these will be good for one cut. And we have one that's trying to bloom. Check that out. That is so cute. Let's back up over here. More sunflowers over here. These, I cannot remember, but they seem to be doing pretty well. They didn't grow everywhere, but I think uh, this is our first successful year growing sunflowers. Over here, we have a different kind. As you can see, check these little tentacles. These also look like 
a single stem flower. Let's uh, move over here to the corn. This right here is the uh, gem corn, the ornamental corn. It says it can be used for popcorn. Uh, it's doing really well. It's it's a different stages. On this side over here, this is white corn. Uh, I didn't get to it on time. As you can see, this area over here, there's no corn. It got eaten by, uh, I guess, worms. I don't know if it was, I think it was a moth of some sort. I did spray them with BT and got to save this area over here. There you have what it looks like from the east side. I got three over here that don't have anything in it. Actually, four, if you count that one over there. But let's go ahead and go to the front area and see how the plants are doing. We'll start on this side over here. We have some estancia right here. It's a type of uh, herb. We do have some cucumbers growing here along with a little bit of sage. All these others are our weeds. Got another cucumber over here. We got some chocolate mint right over here. Going to have to come and weed all this. This was weeded uh, about a month ago and they're back. Hopefully those cucumbers will grow up the trellis right here. Oh, we have our, our uh, sweet banana peppers right in here. We've gotten a few peppers. Uh, yeah. Did you, the taste was a little... Uh, not to my liking. Not to your liking, okay. But he, he at least tried it. Right. Here we have the romaine lettuce that is seeding. On this side, we have the new red fire uh, lettuce. We have the broccoli over here with a bit of lettuce also going to seed. And over here, we have the carrots. Still going strong. They have not uh, seeded yet. Got another type of lettuce over here. And we also have two strawberry plants over here on this end. Let's check out a carrot again. Ooh. Nice. You gonna eat it? <laughs> <laughs> Over here to the pool area and show you some of the plants we have here. We do have some uh, Texas sage right here. As you can see, it's very bushy. Eventually, I like for the ones over here by the chicken coop to look like this. Got a little walkway right here. Got another one here. It's time for a trim on some of these. And this here is a barrier for the pool over here. You can see we have a little bench right in here. Looks kind of cute with the sage in the background right there. As you can see, it grows really fast right now. I would say it's about what five. five five more or less because that's about the height i am okay let's uh show them the area this right here first of all is our pergola carlos uh, myself and our kids helped make uh put this together we mostly painted and uh assisted but he did an awesome job here. Got a little counter right here. Over here, we do have some grasses. Uh, the purple with green. Probably need to plant them out in the landscape. They did die back uh, when it got cold, but they're back. This is where we used to have all my garden mm -hmm. equipment mm -hmm. and uh, tools and shelves and stuff. Mm -hmm. And now we made it into a little oasis here with the outdoor patio furniture and all the plants. So far, it's looking pretty nice. Got these plants over here. 
Got the bird of paradise over here. Just need a TV right over here. Okay, come in over here to the pool area so you can see what uh, it looks like. You can see the barrier right over here. Also, let's come th this way. We have a few palm trees right here. Those survived the light freeze we had. These royal palms, they still have some green, but we're still yeah, we're still keeping hope. Yeah, That's still true. Watering. Still watering them. This fountain right here that uh, Carlos and the kids gave me last year, two years ago for Mother's Day. Got some more uh, palm trees right over here. And then we have the night blooming jasmine over here to kind of cover the pool equipment in the back. Also, we have this shed over here where all the pool stuff and some of the tools are, are located. There you have it, garden friends. That's a tour of the bird garden, the backyard, and also the vegetable and flower garden. Right. In the next video, we'll uh, show you the front uh, garden and also the east side. All right. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for the future videos. And if you like our content, click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.